Ricky from Ricky's Pretties. Today I'm continuing my um, Christmas projects and we're going with a beachy theme for these particular ornaments that we're going to make. I've got some shells here and some of these came with the little holes already in them. You can buy those at Hobby Lobby um, and some of them did not so I drilled little holes myself with my little cordless drill that I have. Um, but you want to have holes drilled in the shells. This one only has one at the top, and this one has one at the bottom and at the top. Um, so I've kind of done different ones like that. And um, we've got several different shapes and sizes. I have some Mod Podge. I have some varnish. I've showed you all guys before what that is. Um, I've got a plate for our glitter. I got this glitter at Walmart. It's the extra fine in the champagne gold. You can use whatever color you like. This is just what I liked for this project. We're going to use a lot of glitter. And then I've got a plate for my Mod Podge to go on. And I have all these little charms and beads in here. I've got some beachy colored bee beads. Um, and I have this earring. These little charms I got from my friend Debbie at Kiki Sale. Um, and also this earring, if I can get it turned around right, it's really pretty. I've got the back off of it and we're gonna tear this apart and use some of these little charms on here. I thought this was really pretty, so we're gonna be using that. And I have some jewelry findings. These are head pins, um, the two inch, uh, 50 millimeter. They're not, you know, they don't have to be super strong. We're just gonna string some little um, charms and beads on there for our decoration. And then I've got some jump rings over here. I'm not sure what millimeter these are. We're gonna be using this size here. Um, something big enough to go through the shelf. I can get it out of there. And they're all, you know, of course they're all tangled up. <laughs> As always, they're always tangled up. They're, you know, they're about this size. I don't know, a quarter inch, something like that. They're about, I'll just stick those in there. And then I've got some ribbon, and I don't know if I'm going to use this, you know, neutral colored ribbon or if I'm going to use the white. I'm going to figure that out later. So I've got a couple of different colors out, and of course I've got some jewelry tools um, here um, that you may or may not have, but you can just use a pair of needle nose pliers. Those will work pretty good if you don't. These come in handy though, the little round ones, if you're going to be um, shaping your pins. These work really well if you can get some of these if you don't already have some. Okay guys, so I'm gonna move some of this stuff aside and we'll get started. First thing I'm gonna do is open this up and just dump a bunch of glitter out here. You're like, oh my goodness. I'm not gonna waste it, I promise. I've got some wax paper here and I'm gonna dump what's left out on that and save it. Now, I am going to go ahead and put some Mod Podge over here. If I get it open from the last time I used it, because I'm not really good about cleaning the lid. Liberal amount. And now, we're going to paint these seashells. I've got some wax paper set out over here so that I can set these to dry and hopefully they won't stick. We'll find out. We will find out. That's the way it is with all of my projects. We'll find out. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen around here. Because I basically just get some, some of these ideas. I just get in my head and fly by the seat of my pants with them. But I did see something like this on, I did see something like this on Pinterest. So I'm not the first person to do this. But I thought it would lend itself really pretty to the little charms that I had, and so I thought, well, I'm going to try this. So, yay! And I am going to paint both sides of these because they'll turn around when they're on the tree, and I want them all to be glitterfied. Glitterfied! Make sure you get it all the way up in there. Okay, now, I probably should have got some kind of scoop for this. <laughs> but, you know, I never think ahead. I never, ever think ahead. What can I use? What can I use? What can I use? 
Um, I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. I need something. I'll use this little card. <laughs> there we go. And it's still going to get all over my hands, but we're just going to liberally apply this all over this seashell. I guess it didn't matter because no matter what I'm going to get it on me so <laughs> all right carefully setting it over here to dry and now we'll go on to the next one I guess it really doesn't matter if it's on my hands or not. I was thinking it might, but probably it won't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying not to get let this drip into my glitter. If you're wondering why I'm shifting around so much, it's because I'm trying not to let it get into my glitter. Okay. Let's just go for it and see how well that covers. That just covers really well. These are going to be really super sparkly. Eh. I'm trying not to touch the shell itself because it just, this is going to do that if I do it and I'm going to get glitter everywhere. Hang on, let's try this. I'll fix it. And obviously I missed a couple of places, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and just dab a little bit in there. You wanna try to cover your whole shell. Okay, I'm gonna set that one aside too. We'll do this little guy. As you can tell, this is really messy. <laughs> so, you know, be prepared to have glitter spores everywhere because you know what? You know what glitter spores do? They just multiply. They'll be all over your house. So, you know, just be prepared to be vacuum up, vacuuming up glitter spores for the rest of your life because that's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay. Let's get this little guy in here and make sure every little piece of him is covered. That's what I'm running into at this. I'm not getting my whole shell covered and I want it all covered. Okay. I'm just going to dump him in there. Whee! and do the back side. So pretty. Okay, and we're going to set that guy down over there. I'm going to get my paper towel because I'm getting all gummed up over here. Boy, I'm wearing the glitter now. <laughs> you guys better believe it. This fine glitter will get everywhere. You're going to be like, oh my goodness. Rick, what did you do to us? <laughs> Why did you tell us to get the glitter out? Yep. It's going to be like that, y'all. Because it's messy. As you can tell, look at my fingers. It's everywhere. Okay. And we'll just plunking down in there, get him all covered. Take him out, give him a little shake, shake. 
and set him over here to dry. Last one, y'all. I'm just doing a few of these so that I can show y'all what these look like when they're all done. I guess I've gotten to where I don't care if it drips into my glitter anymore because it's just messy anyway. <laughs> so, you know, we'll just figure out trial and error that some things just don't matter. Like that. Okay. I'm just going to do this. Look. So pretty. Give him a little shake shake. Okay. And I'm going to set that over here and we're going to let those dry and then once they get dry, we'll come back. Okay guys, our shells are all glittered and I did take my little uh, tool here, my little pokey tool, and went ahead and poked through the glitter and the glue to uh, make apparent where my holes were, again, so that I could see where they went. So you just want to do that to each shell. And now we're going to go ahead and do some varnish over the top of each one um, just to ensure that the glitter stays in place and doesn't come off. Um, they have glitter sealer for this as well um, and you could certainly use that instead if, if you want to. This is what I have so this is what I'm going to use and um, I think I'm going to do the inside first. And I'm just going to brush it over the top. This is a gloss, so it's going to it's going to dry shiny. Just going to get a good coat on that shell. going to do our next one <clears throat> and I'm just going to keep going at this until all of the shells are done Okay, I'm going to let those dry and then we will be back. Okay, while our little shells finish drying, we're going to start making our little dangles for our shells. Um, so we're going to begin by um, dismantling this earring. We're going to start cutting this apart. And to start, I'm going to just cut right here. Um, so I can free up all the little dangles that are on here. I'm going to take my cutters and I'm just going to snip it right there. And give that a little twist. And then these should just come off, which they did. And then to use that, I want to use that. I'm going to go ahead and cut here and here. Try to get as much of those little sharpies, sharp edges off as possible. 
You might not be able to get any more than that. And then I'm just going to cut off the, the post. So all we have left is just the little diamond here. And we may or may not use that. I don't know. I'm going to put it in the box just to see if maybe we'll use it later. Okay, so now what we have is all of these little dangles, but they're all on the same jump ring. And I don't want them to be all on the same jump ring, so I'm going to find the edge of the jump ring if I can. I can't see where it is, so I'm just going to cut it. My little old lady eyes aren't that good, y'all. They're just not that good. There. Now all of our little dingles are free. They're free, 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 free. And we can keep them on here because we can put them on another little jump ring. Which is what we're going to do. We're going to put them on another little jump ring. And it's probably going to be, the chain's going to be too small for the jump ring I got out earlier. So we need a little tiny, and if I can't find a jump ring small enough for that, we'll just cut the chain off and use the dangly that are on here. We'll just use those as dinglies. So let's see what I have here. I don't know if I have a thin enough jump ring. These are the smallest. Get it open. Eh, this thing's hard to do. Hang on. Let's see. And they're all stuck together. I don't know if those are tiny enough or not, but we'll find out. Well, those are tiny. Yep, that'll work. So, I've slipped that on there. And I'm just going to close that back up. And we're going to do that for, you know, probably not this one, but for each one of these that has a chain on it, we're going to do that too. Um, but I'm going to move on and show y'all another thing that we're going to do. Set these aside so I don't spill them and get them all over the place, because I will. <laughs> okay, and the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make danglies with our pins here. And to do that... I'm going to start out with a little bead, like a little green sparkly bead maybe. I'm just going to slide it onto our little uh, pin there. And a little pearly. Let's see, maybe I want something a little bigger. I think maybe this pearl. There, see? And that's cute. And I usually like to put something smaller on top. I may need to get some more little pearly beads. Or actually, here's what we'll do. I'm going to keep that green one on the bottom. Then I'm going to put the blue one on next. And then I'm going to put the little pearly bead on top. 
I like a smaller bead on the top and on the bottom. There, that looks much better, don't you think? I think that looks nice. Okay, so this is too long now because this is all I'm going to use on here. Um, so I'm going to cut this. I just want a little bit, just enough to loop over. So I'm going to cut it about right, right here. Okay. And I'm going to take my little roundies. And I'm going to bend it like that. And then I'm going to take my little end and curl it around. Until it touches. Like that. Okay, and that gives us a little a little dangly to use. And we're going to make another one just so you can kind of see again what we did. And this time I'm going to use a little crystal. And I'm going to use a green pearly and another white pearly. I'm going to snip our end. Bend our little pin. And curl it on around. Keep going until they touch. Okay. And there's our next one. And... I'm going to make a few more of these and I'm going to attach our little danglies to our smaller jump rings and then once I get all that done we'll be back to place everything on the shelves. Okay? See you guys in a few. Okay guys, I've got all my little jump rings attached to my charms. I went ahead and attached a little jump ring to each one of these charms here just to give them a little more movement. And um, I've got our little dangles made and I've got our shells are ready to go. And I've already made one up so I can show you what we're going to be doing. And this is what our finished product looks like. It's a shell ornament and isn't it beautiful? It's just gorgeous. I can't wait to see what this looks like on the tree. But um, this is this is what we're gonna wind up with, guys. So let's I'll show you what to do next. So here is our shell. We've got a hole up here on this shell, and we've got a hole down here on this shell. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of our big jump rings, and I've got my little my little pliers here. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this through the bottom of the shell or the top of it, whichever I think the top of it will work. And I'm just going to thread that on through if I can get it to work. Mm. Sometimes these things are easier said than done. There we go. Uh, a little glue stuck to that. That's okay. Alrighty, and then I'm going to go ahead and put my little dangly on the front of that. And then I have, I'm going to put the little um, shell on here as well. Just going to slide him on there. And then we're just going to tighten this up. It would be better if I had two of these, but I only have one pair of each. So we're just going to do the best we can. There we go. Pretty good. Okay. And so there's our danglies for the bottom of our shell. And then we're going to take another jump ring. 
And I'm probably going to spread that apart a little bit just to make it easier to get in there. And I'm going to stick that through. Yeah, more glue. That's just all the glue that was inside the little hole. I'm going to close this up a bit. And then I'm going to put me a charm on top. Just going to slip that on there. And I'm going to close that up. And there's our little charm. And now I'm just going to cut a length of ribbon. I decided to go with the white ribbon. I'm going to cut it at an angle. These scissors are not the best, Joe. I'm sorry. They're just kind of old. I need my little fussy cut scissors. Those work really well. And you're just going to thread it through here. You can burn your ends to keep them from fraying. Oh, I didn't get that closed off good, did I? Nope. Let's go ahead and get that pinched off better. My eyes are just not the best anymore, y'all. Okay, that's good. It's probably a little too good, but oh well, it's okay. And we're just going to thread our ribbon through. Get it the length that you want it. Some people like to hang their ribbon directly over the branch. Some people like to put a little um, hooky deal on it. Doesn't matter. Just make it the length that you want. And if my scissors will cooperate, we're going to cut those. There we go. Okay. And there's one. Isn't that cute? I just think that is so pretty and sparkly. I love the sparkles. Okay. And now we're going to do one with a dangly on it so you can see what this looks like. Um, One of our little earring dangles that we put our jump ring on. I'm just going to kind of do one of each so that you can see, you know, what these look like and what they're supposed to do. And then I'll finish up off camera, y'all. Okay, so this is our dangly that we put our jump ring on. And I'm just going to slide that over because this, this shell only has the one hole in the top. And I'm going to put this dangly on there, too. If I can get that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to close it up good. Hopefully. Yeah, that looks good. A little extra pinch just to make sure. Because my eyes are not the best, y'all. Even with these bifocals on, I can't see these very well. Especially in this angle here where I'm trying to do everything on camera. So, okay. Got that on there. It's probably a little overkill, but it's okay. <laughs> Just turn that around. Alrighty. And now we're going to get our ribbon. Hook it through and tie it off up at the top. <laughs> well, my fingers aren't working either, evidently, y'all, today. Okay, there we go. 
and snip it. And that didn't work out well at all, did it? My scissors are terrible now. Got to get some new scissors. I've worn these out completely. Oh well, I'll find my fussy cut scissors and I'll cut those better later. But anyways, look at that. Isn't that cute? It's got a little dangly. I love it. And it's got a little dangly up here. It'd be so cute on the tree, y'all. So cute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do these other two off camera. And then I'm going to hang these on the tree and show you guys what they look like in our final picture, okay? Thank y'all for joining me today. I hope you found this to be a fun project and a messy project. Just something to get your hands into. And if you want to do um, your own, um, if you want to do something besides a nautical, you could do that with just about anything. You can glitterify anything, y'all. So just use your imagination, make you some cute ornaments for your tree, and I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye-bye. Thank you.